Alex, I wonder, does it feel like you're finally settling into this champ life? I mean, it seemed like the, for the start of your reign, it was always like, oh, no, he's got to prove it. He didn't win that fight. You know, he's got to go prove it. But now, you know, I don't think there's any doubt. Does it feel like you're finally kind of settled in as the established champion? You you talk to, <laughs> we we there yeah. So a lot of times you you would probably talk to Alex Volkanovski. You know the just the, the guy that was that all I've always been. You know what I mean. And but today you're, you're talking to the champ. You know what I mean. And that's something that I you know I want to wear this uh, crown. You know what I mean. I earned it. You know what I mean. I deserve it. So I don't have to feel like I'm being cocky by owning that crown that I, I deserve to wear. So. Um, that's 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 a that's that's a mate. It's beautiful, really. You know the freedom I have, even just chatting to you guys, man. It's just it's incredible. But again, you're talking to to the champ now, not just a regular bloke from down the road, which I've always been, and I'm, I sort of pride myself on that. But hey, it's time to really uh, own that and uh, wear that crown proudly. I mean, we have to dress you like Mr. Volkanovski now or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, champ. You can, you can dress me as champ today. Uh, after this, you can t- call me Alex. It's all good. All right, champ. Well, I, you know, the thing that's cool is I, I really feel like you are finally starting to get that recognition, right? Like, the, the, I think the doubters are gone. Has that been important to you at all to, to finally hear that and see that? I mean, I know you always believed in yourself, but to now hear it and see it from other people, is that important to you? Man, it, look, it is. It's, I've been uh, obviously sounding like a broken record all week about it. The thing, the best thing about this is that I don't care, right? I don't care about that. But, yes, it's definitely changed. But uh, I've changed, you know, I'm not looking for the, the negatives. And this was only recently where I was like, you know, what are you doing? I was like paying way too much attention to all that type of stuff and, you know, letting that uh, just f- put weight on my shoulders for nothing. You know, it was holding me back. I couldn't be myself. I couldn't be free, as I'm, uh, as I'm trying to say. Where now, yes, it has changed, but what's better about it is that the fact that I don't care if it didn't. You know what I mean? I really don't. If I wasn't getting it, whatever. Who cares? Move on. You will You will uh, jump on board soon. It, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at right now, and that's what, what I love about it. But, yeah, it's definitely changing, and it's good. The names that you've been beating, obviously, Ortega, Holloway, Aldo. I mean, now you look at Zombie. I just wonder where you see, like, A, your excitement level. I mean, he's a guy that's been around for a long time, of course. But, B, maybe also, like, the challenge, though. I mean, those guys were the specialists at uh, what they do. This guy's, you know, more of a veteran than necessarily the, the clear number one contender. So where does your excitement level and the challenge level live here for you? Oh, man, I'm pumped for this. I'm absolutely pumped. You know, obviously, uh, it's a new face. It's, well, not really a new face, but, I mean, obviously, uh, across Octagon for me. But he's a, definitely a familiar face. He's been around forever. It's a guy that I've always wanted to fight. You know, I've always thought I was going to fight. You know what I mean? It's a zombie. He's been at the top of the game ever since uh, this featherweight division has ever ever started. So... You know, it was something that, this is a legacy fight. This is someone, you know, I've taken out a lot of the legends and I want to keep taking out legends. So uh, he's definitely one of them. You know, he's, uh, he's earned this, this spot, you know, I mean, he definitely has. So uh, I'm, I'm motivated 100%. Again, like it's, I'm going to be motivated no matter who's in front of me because it's, there's expectation what I, what I want, you know, out of myself. So I'm going to go out there and do my thing. But yeah, unfortunately for him, you know what I mean? I died, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him that he got a title shot. It's probably going to be his uh, last title shot. And, again, I'm not look, you know, I don't want to say I'm looking past him like I'm cocky, but, I mean, where I'm at right now, I can't see myself being beaten. Um, you know, he's, uh, I did him a solid by, or we did him a solid by giving him this uh, last shot. But that's it. That's, uh, that's as far as this favour goes because uh, I'm going to take that away from him. But, yeah. I was gonna, you know, his reputation obviously well deserved. But you mean the, the killers that you've been facing? I mean, does he do any? Like, is there any one particular thing that he does? Like, oh man, we haven't seen this before. Man, we got to really be careful for this. Oh, there's plenty. Yeah, there definitely is. Especially, like you talk about guys that are, you know, obviously come forward and they're, they're gamers and that, right? There's plenty of them. But yeah, he'll put your lights out at the same time. He'll eat one to give one. Literally eat one to give one, which is always fun. It's going to be a fun fight. Obviously, it's going to be a crowd pleaser. That's for sure. But. Uh, but it's going to leave a lot of openings for me. You know what I mean? I'm going to be calculated. I'm not going to be silly. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, you know, you know, you're going to try and top the last one. I'm not going out there to try and top it to make everyone happy. It's just this fight is what I'm expecting to happen anyway, you know, whether it tops it or not. But, I mean, it's going to be a banger because that's just how he fights and I'm going to make him pay. You know, you come at me and try and find my chin and walk forward to me, I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you miss and I'm going to be capitalising on every opening that he gives me. So uh, I'm looking forward to going in there and put on a show and, just showing everyone uh, where I'm at right now. Right, so last thing for me, I guess, ask. Now that there really is no question as to whether you're the champion or deserving or whatever, what do you want to accomplish with the reign? Because it feels like it's starting now, you know what I mean? So what do you want to accomplish as champion? Oh, man, like uh, just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I, I think uh, 
this is a new part right now. Like I said, what we just talked about, you know what I mean? Uh, just where I'm at right now, headspace and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a... Uh, this is where, you know, you're going to see me, like with the freedom that I talk about, talking to you guys outside five week and in the octagon. People are going to see that and they're going to see me really own that, and you know what I mean? And that's obviously going to add to the legacy as well. But I want to keep taking these guys out, you know what I mean? And I've got a division to hold. I will do that. Then we're going to talk about other divisions and all that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But right now, I want to defend this baby a, a few times this year. I want three fights this year. And uh, again, this is going to be a big, massive year for me. And it starts Saturday night. What well, starts now? Alex, to your right over here. Yep. Um, a lot of talk coming into this, or I guess the debate is starting whether you're the greatest featherweight ever. Uh, where do you think you stand right now? Of course, I think the three people in there are Max Holloway and Jose Aldo, and you, of course, have beaten them both one guy twice. So do you feel like you've already solidified that, or do you think this is the fight that does it? Do you have more work to do? Look, man, it's a, I believe I've still got more work to do. You know I mean? Uh, what uh, I give Aldo the respect to be champion for as long as he was is incredible. You know what I mean? No matter... yeah. The opposition that I'm facing, obviously with guys like himself and uh, Max and, and, and that, uh, I think, you know, I'm fighting absolute killers. Like, it's, it's pretty clear. But at the same time, to be champion that long, uh, you know, there's going to be days you don't show up, bad weight cuts, injuries, you name it. You know what I mean? We've all done it. And it's a nightmare to, to not, not be on on a day you've got to go out there and defend your belt. And for him to be able to be champion for so long, that's saying something. Do I think I need that many defences? No, I don't. Do I think I'm there right now? No, I'm not going to claim that that yet. Uh, I'm going to go out and do my thing. People want to claim it for me, uh, all good, but uh, i still got some work to do. And with this 10-0 run in the UFC so far that you're on, just going off what you said there, sometimes things don't click on the night of the fight. What do you think has been the one for you where, despite getting the victory, it's maybe been the hardest lead up to the fight or the actual fight itself you didn't feel right? Uh, there's there's going to be a few, but obviously there's an obvious one. You know, Fight, fight, fight Island was obviously a tricky one, and... That's why fighting with no crowd, you know, obviously it was a short, a short uh, camp. We, we, that was a short notice uh, fight. Just a, a few things like that, you know what I mean? Like some days you aren't going to turn turn up, you know what I mean? But to not turn up and still win, now that's saying something. Against the best, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really saying something. So that's why I give him that respect, you know what I mean? Because I know how hard it can be, you know what I mean? And that's why I love these crowds again, man. Like it's, it's incredible being in front of you guys. Uh, you know, just soaking up all, all the energy. You know, last last one was uh, incredible, and I can't wait to go out there and put on a show again. And last thing, uh, of course, there was the talk about Max Holloway maybe being the backup here. Do you know if he's weighing in on Friday? Do you know if he's coming here? Oh, man, look, uh, I, I don't even know if that was even, you know, I think that was me. Uh, again, what I was talking about, this was only new, me, things that I, I was, uh, how I was, right? This is stuff that I've really started to overcome lately. So, uh, you know, I don't even know if he was even saying that or he was asking that. That was me looking into... What people are saying, you know, maybe maybe you guys were saying, I don't, I don't know, you know, that's me looking at stuff that, like, why are you looking for this sort of stuff? But that's where I was at, you know what I mean? And here I, like, I was, and then I would end up saying stuff, why was I doing that? For the haters, I wanted something to prove to the haters, you know, I was doing all this sort of stuff and letting these negative comments that I'm talking about and all that sort of negativity get to me, where I was like, so I'm making silly decisions purely to prove people wrong and all that type of stuff, where now... You ain't going to see me making them decisions for them reasons. You know what I mean? So uh, that's, uh, again, it was uh, obviously unfortunate for him. And we'll, we'll see, we'll see w w what happens later. But, but yeah, man, it's, uh, I sort of forgot the question where you went. <laughs> <laughs> I end up rambling like I, I like to do. Alex over here, sir. Champ, we? excuse uh, me. Yep. The big event. You're closing the show once again with the big Bantamweight grudge match on the card. There's the Hamza Shemaev, Gilbert Burns fight. I I'm sure you envisioned being that guy on the poster and being the main event in these cards, but what has that been like for you, and has it lived up to your expectations? Has it exceeded your expectations? Oh, man, like it's, nah, man, it's, we knew this was going to be a, a big fight. Uh, obviously, it's a stack card. Uh, there's a lot of hype around it. People are, are going nuts about it, so it's, it's good. You know what I mean? Uh, it's... It's definitely what I expected, if not more. You know what I mean? Uh, again, there's a, there's a good buzz, a real good energy and feel uh, to the whole uh, week, uh, where I'm at, everything, and uh, just how the week's going. So um, nothing but positive vibes on my end. Zombie was in here earlier, very complimentary of you. Feels like you're the most well-rounded fighter that he's fought in his career, but he also says, as well-rounded as you are, he's better at each and every aspect of, of the game that, that you're at. He's even better than you are. What's your response to that? you think it's just him just being very confident heading into a fight, or do you think he truly believes that? What, what do you think about his confidence? Oh, man, like, uh, again, you're going to, as you say, you're going to try and say the right things, right? So that's what you want to hear. That's what his uh, fans want to hear, right? So people are going to say that. And, 
But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think he is better than me at all them things. But you can be good. Like, oh, I've, I've fought wrestlers. I've fought strikers and all that. And I've beat them at their own game. Even if people thought they were better than me. Why? Because I'm so well, uh, well-rounded. And the way I put it together... I go, that's the thing. He, he wants to separate these things, these sports. I blend it all together better than anyone. So uh, you've got my, you know, obviously, I think I'm one of the, the greatest athletes there is right now. I put, you know, I bust my ass to, to be in that position. Then I've got the fight IQ, resilience, durability, fight, you know, everything. Uh, you know, I've I, I got uh, so many tools that come into play. You know, him relying on, you know, even the way you, you said that, talking about, oh, I'm better at the grappling and sort of separating them is where I know I'm levels uh, above him. And I don't mean that in any disrespect, but that's how I see it. I go, I could, uh, you know, if I had to do someone that was a jiu-jitsu guy, as you've seen, MMA is different. You can go and you can get me. Yeah, obviously he got me in some bad positions, but I get up, I'm going to punch your head through the canvas. You know, you're, you hold and guard, you be there, be prepared to be punched in the face. You don't get to chill and uh, do things, you know what I mean? This is a different game. You've got cages in the way, you've got striking, you've got different looks, you've got fakes. You know, there's so many things that come to play, so... If he really does think he's better th- than me in these places, that doesn't matter anyway. But uh, obviously, I don't believe that. Speaking of fighters who are complimentary of you, Piotr Jan was in here earlier. There's a lot of comparisons between you guys, and he put you over as a, as a great champion, a guy who does things correctly, preparation, everything. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Jan as a fighter uh, in his fight with Sterling, and, and how do you see that matchup going? Yeah, Jan's a man. Uh, we, I know I've known him for, for a while. We've trained together for, for a long time. And again, we are pretty similar. We're both... You know, you, I pretty much just said everything when you talk about, you know, fight IQ, resilience, durability, you know, busting your ass, working hard, all that type of stuff. He ticks all the boxes. That's why, uh, you know, you know these uh, guys that are like that are going to be hard to beat. You know, they never give up attitudes and all that type of stuff. Like, when you've got all them tools plus these things that aren't easy, like you can't really be taught some of these things, to have them as well on top, they're hard men to beat. Last thing for me, because you said something very interesting about being free and, and letting a lot of that stuff go. And you came into the UFC as a guy who came up through the ranks. You, you wanted to be the good guy. You didn't want to be the guy that was rising up, being somebody you're not. You didn't want to be the trash-talking guy. You wanted to do things your own way and let your merit determine where you were going to go as a fighter. So with, with fight buildups and, and things like that, what are the lines in your eyes? And how do you think things have evolved on that end. Like, we see what's happening between Covington and Mazadal, that kind of thing, what that has led to, and other examples. Where do you think the game is heading from that aspect? Well, you'll never see me be a Colby Covington, that's for sure. But, um, you know, again, I'm just, I'll just be me. I'll be free. If uh, that, That's what I'm saying. I just want to show my character. I, I am a friendly guy, but if you piss me off, I'm going to say something. You know, that's just how I am. But, again, I don't feel like I, ha- like I have to try and force something and be someone I'm not just to please everyone. That's something I'm over that. You know what I mean? I feel like I can be myself and, and, and that's good. You know what I mean? Again, the freedom of, of that. But at the same time, if I do decide to go that, that heel route or something like that, if that's the decision I make, I'll be comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Even if it was a wrong decision at the time, I'll move on. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at right now. You know, usually I'll be sitting there doing my head in for, forever. Like, why'd you say that? Oh, and now it's like, oh, well, yeah, whatever. Move on. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. So just be me. You know, I mean, that's what I'm comfortable with and uh, confident in, in as well. So that's something that I, I'm actually proud of as well. Alex, uh, you've been getting uh, a lot of love, obviously, with all the work that you've been doing at 145 pounds. But uh, on a bigger spectrum, pound for pound of the best fighters today, um, where do you think you're at? Do you feel like you should be in that conversation among the, the very best uh, pound for pound fighters? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I believe so. Like, look, look at the – there's a lot of guys that you'd look at goats and, you know, People that are near the pound for pound list, like I beat these guys as well, you know what I mean? So obviously you're going to have me right up there. But I know uh, people that know the game know that I'm right up there. But, uh, you know, after, like I said, even after this weekend and after a couple of fights, you know, everyone's going to be from my name right up there. You know, I truly do believe that. Again, I'm, I'm very confident in my abilities and where I'm at. And uh, again, you know, I'm going to show that this weekend. Yeah. You mentioned how Korean Zombie was a guy that you hoped that you, you crossed paths with, and, and here you are. Mm-hmm. Any other names at, at 145 or any super fights or any names that you would like to have at some point in your resume when it's all said and done? Oh, man, obviously all of them. <laughs> I, want a, I want a piece of all of them. So uh, whoever's that number one spot's always going to get it. But, I mean, there's – you obviously got guys that, are, that, that have been in the division, you know, but, again – I'm trying to think now who's still in the division. So they're coming and going a fair bit. But, you know, it comes up 
a fair bit. Obviously, people ask about Connor and, and things like that. And everyone's going to throw his name out there because it's the money fight and all that type of circus around it and all that. But again, this is obviously a guy that's he's, he's held this belt in my division as well. I've taken out the other guys. I haven't had the chance to do him. Obviously, that's something that would be incredible, but you know, he ain't making featherweight. If I've got to move up to still do, take that uh, title, I, I would. But So that's something that obviously intrigues me when you talk money, hype, all that type of stuff, but not just that. He's someone else that's held this, and uh, I want to take them all out. Yeah, Again, the legends of my division, I want to take them out. And to stay on that topic, um, Connor had like a really interesting run at 145. I mean, it was great, but it was also very quick. Mm -hmm. um, where would you rank him among the champions? And just uh, for history's sake, where, where would you put him as far as the greatest featherweights out there? Yeah, man, you need defenses. That's the thing. Like, you know, man, I'm going to give him respect. I've always, he could, the dude can fight. You know what I mean? Uh, he's made some bad decisions and all that type of stuff, but. Um, you know, he, he can fight, you know what I mean? To take out Aldo in Aldo's prime and all that, that's that's saying something as well. Uh, but I think, yeah, well, Aldo's still showing that he's still in his prime, so he just doesn't doesn't age. But um, but again, you know, I feel like uh, I've definitely done a, a lot more than him, so I think he's, out of all the champions, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I'd say he'd have to be at the, the bottom of, of the list. He ain't going to like that, but whatever. <laughs> And uh, last one for me, uh, Korean Zombie was here earlier, and uh, I asked him, what's his favorite zombie film? I wonder if, if you're uh, a zombie fan, and, and if so, any movie out there that you have a special spot for? Zombie fan. I think someone's asked me this, and I, was, uh, I should already know the answer. But, um, man, uh, everyone knows, uh, I know oh, Game of Thrones, they ain't really zombies, are they? Similar, sort of, the guys that come yeah. out. Can we, can we kind of get away with that? Yeah. i get away with that, eh? There's a lot of like weird shit in that movie, so <laughs> you could say there's uh, the zombies are involved there. So I reckon that because I I don't know if you remember, but that was uh, my walkout for all my way to to the belt. You know that was a uh, that was a uh, you know where I ended that. It was like all right now we're on to a new chapter. So that was a, a big part of my life. So because Game of Thrones, obviously for me to have it as my walkout song was a, a big movie. So I'm going to claim that they're zombies. Right. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> they ain't White Walkers. They're zombies. Yeah, Alex, right here. Uh, you just mentioned the idea of moving up in weight to lightweight. Uh, how much longer do you plan on staying at featherweight? It just depends on what the division does. So I'm gonna. I've, I've said this a few times, where you know we've got a lot of guys that are so close to a title shot. You know, you go out and you fight that. You take that number one spot. It's not hard for a lot of these guys. Literally, have one more fight against the right guy, and everyone's screaming your name, and then I'm gonna fight you. That's it. I don't care who it is. But uh, you know, if you're gonna sit there waiting, wanting, wanting shit given to you, expecting title shots, as you've seen when, when Max got injured, everyone was putting their hand up when, and expecting a title shot given to him. That's a shit mentality, you know what I mean? Change that mentality, go on in that number one spot, and then I'll be active in this featherweight division. If not, while you're sorting your shit out, I'll move up and, and fight in lightweight. So I could be fighting the next three fights in, in featherweight, depending on what these guys want to do. All right, thanks, Alex. Thank you.